in his career. So Kihei Clark belongs on the floor for Virginia. I'm glad to see the, the issues are behind him, and we can now play ball. He's in the starting lineup, and so too is Trey Murphy, the junior from Durham, North Carolina. 25 in the white, the Rice transfer. So his first start in a Virginia uniform, and Kihei Clark announces his presence. A double team on Jay Huff, passing out of it. Good ball movement from the Cavaliers with the shot clock winding down, and Thomas Will, the Tensai, is good. Knock down the three-point shot. I mean, the, the amount of uh, spacing that that gives your offense, and it opens it up for all those other guys, but there you also get the payoff from the 7-1 Huff with the slam. A 7-0 start for Virginia, despite the two-and-a-half-week layoff. Kochera on the drive, took it right at Huff for the bucket, plus the foul. Ready, Brooke, what you said right off the top, the size discrepancy allowed Huff to get on the offensive glass. Trey oh, Murphy rises dish. up. That was a great, great dish from Clark. In his short time with Virginia as well. Clark saved it, shot clock winding down, and Clark on the drive. Mm -hmm. Somebody motivated today. Shot clock is winding down right now on William and Mary. This is Lowy, the senior leader. Rolled off the rim, then White on the offensive glass. Rebounding was something that was an issue, or has been really for Virginia. They want to try to straighten that up. And offensive rebounds, you don't need a whole lot when you can finish plays like that. And you asked Tony Bennett yesterday just how the layoff affects that defensive growth as Marcel goes Ooh. up for a slam. And my goodness, the Cavaliers are getting every dunk they can imagine right now. Gonna take some time to mesh things on that end of the floor. Yeah, you definitely lose size, athleticism, experience. That's a nice move, hesitation from Morcel. You got a guy like Knight who's in the NBA right now, and then you've got to replace that as a school that's not typically known for NBA players. That's trying to build a lot on your roster. It's not been able to get a lot of creation and, and separation to get an open look. Murphy straight on. To back jumpers for Trey Murphy. Anyway, it's more than seven minutes without points here for William and Mary. Yeah, they're trying to get something going, Brooke. Virginia yeah, gets a block. Beekman pushing. Murphy finishing. Thing to do is sit on the boat, go fishing, talk some hoops. I'm a little experienced myself. I'm more of the frozen hot dog person when it comes to bait, bait <laughs> rather than a lure. 17 point margin for Virginia in the final game before things really pick up with Gonzaga on Saturday and ACC action next week. There's a bucket and a foul. But A for effort, A for loyalty, my man. He's like, yeah. I can't straight from my Irish. No, no, no can't do. As Trey Murphy's had a heck of a first half here. He's got another yes. three. Putting him into the starting lineup today, a huge move. You see he's responding extremely well. That's time, Reese Beekman for two. Those are the picks. Again, you're going to be seeing them all the way up to New Year's Day on our ESPN family of networks. Second chance at the rim, and Cochera sticks it in for William and Mary to get to 14 points. Beekman on the baseline drive. Extra pass for Sam Hauser to line up a triple. Saturday in Fort Worth, Texas at Dickey's Arena. And then next week, ACC play looms for the Cavaliers. But in the here and now, this is Yuri Covington spinning one home, the freshman from Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. Right, Mike, because I mean, that's what we were talking about with these layoffs. Can you find momentum? Can you find your flow? That works pretty well when you've got a point guard, center guard, center uh, rotation like that. And Kihei Clark can read the eyes of players so well, and I think now there's a lot of chemistry there, so he knows exactly when and where to throw it up. Hey, there's Yuri Covington. He's got five in a row for William and Mary. He's a late bloomer in this game, too. Named the Colonial Rookie of the Week yesterday. At 16 and four assists in overtime against George Washington and distributing here to find his fellow rookie, Cochera. Jay Huff left wide open. And that's a mistake for William and Mary. Oh, good pass underneath. Lowy to find Harvey. Pachera with a jab step. Now rises. Left it well short. Didn't hit the rim, so Blair follows it with two more. For effort in the offensive glass. You know, it's been shown right now that William and Mary's not been able to get into a rhythm offense. Fast break's been there, but Hauser with that nice three wants to keep this lead. I mean, Duncan Robinson, Bam out of bio. I mean, you got 
Tyler Hero, a lot of young guys who can still get a whole lot better as Jay Huff slams one home in that rim. Boy. He's got such great size, but you barely see him, you know, imposing his will like that. But this has just been the story of the day for Virginia. Run, gun, get the ball into the paint. Morcel is matched up with Luke Lowy, who has been quiet, but that's a tough long two for the senior from Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. It's that long reach from Shedrick, able to keep the, the play alive, and then he'll go ahead and pay himself off at the end with that dunk. Six foot 11 guy from Raleigh, North Carolina. Murphy off the shot fake, gave it up nicely to Beekman. That was one of the best plays that you will see in this game. Well, they've been unselfish all day, but you look, the wide open three is there. Instead, he gets low and the shovel pass into Reese Beekman. You see people of terrific coaches and of course, Muffin McGraw retiring. Still able to be on Notre Dame's campus. She's teaching, so she can give uh, Niel some, some pointers still. Uh, test and successful test and patience, I think, as we look across the board in college basketball, as to how many games have been canceled or postponed due to COVID. Kispert and Drew Timmy. The two of them together are averaging 41 points. So a, a complete roster for Virginia, yes, they have a lot of scores, but do they have the capacity to go up against Gonzaga? And now under five to go here in the second half in Charlottesville. There's the lob up top for Shedrick, finishing despite the contact off the delivery from Beekman. Beekman finished the play. Here it is once again, Virginia getting into the paint. Wow. Cedric way off balance here at the end after getting pushed. You're safe and you're all cleared to play, so why not go ahead and get the maximum number of games out you can? I think that's a great idea. Marcel with a tough step back that, that Tony had played with and played against growing up in the high school and the AAU ranks. So uh, those guys quite familiar with one another, and now Tony has a chance to, to coach Sam here in college. Everybody on the deck for it here, and Jabri Abdur Rahim came away with it. Look out for Justin McCoy. Still keeping the tribe below 40 here in these final couple of minutes. And Harvey with a deuce. More aggressive on offense. Carson McCorkle gave it up. And there's a three for Austin Katstra, the senior from right here in Charlottesville. For a date with Gonzaga, the number one team in the country on Saturday. It's going to be a huge matchup and a perfect game for Virginia to get back in shape, get ready, get into the tempo, because you have got a huge matchup against Gonzaga.